thing you want to hear. This was made famous. I guess these guys wrote this too. Uh, uh, these folks sold more Martha White flour and pet milk than probably anybody else in the world ever did. Interesting little thing. Uh, um, how many people remember the Flatten Scruggs TV show from uh, back in the late, mid late 60s? Um, well, <laughs> I remember watching some of the very last ones uh, when I was just a, a wee scrap. And uh, it's. Uh, on our, on our TV, of course, you know, we didn't get 6 o'clock news until about 10 the next morning. But uh, it come on real early in the morning, and uh, they would piggyback their tapings, and sometimes, you know, the, the local news channels would put them in their maybe not prime time stuff, you know, when they couldn't get the big high dollar ads, you know, to buy commercial space. And so uh, these guys kind of had their own built in commercials, you know, with the pet, pet milk and uh, Martha White Mills folks. And, most people don't, or not a lot of people do, I guess, but some people don't know that these guys, Mr. Flat, Earl Scruggs, and the Foggy Mountain Boys, Flat Scruggs Incorporated, were very wealthy and at one time owned virtually everything. How many people have been to Nashville? You all been to Nashville, Tennessee? You know where the Union Station, the big train station is there on Broad Street, going toward the river, down to where the old Martha White factory used to be, the mills there, it was on the right, just past the Ryman Auditorium. Well, at one time, Flatten Scruggs Incorporated owned virtually everything from Union Station on both sides of the street to the river, except for the Rhine. And so while Pet Milk and, uh, and Martha White were sponsoring Flatten Scruggs, they actually owned the buildings that these people were operating on. So that, that's almost a lip in there. <laughs> History out there. That's, uh, uh, we were talking uh, last night. Josh and I were talking to some uh, fellows that's done road gigs for years, and if someone could compile a, a list of stories and tales about these people, uh, it would be just awesome. And uh, somebody should do that. Where's Willard at? That sounds like a Willard project. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's one of the, one of the one of our big numbers. I'd like to do this for you. Flat and Scruggs done this, and I think this is about, uh, this is probably about 58 when they first done this. Uh, we were very young at the time. Uh, but it's one called Head Over Heels. Like to be 